uh, speaking about the technical and economic viability of large-scale geoenergy applications in North Estonia and building the first geoenergy pilot plants and winning the, the prize for the longest title today, Ivar Alvert. <laughs> Okay, you can read the title yourself as well, so you will rem memorize it, and I ask it after the presentation what it was. Okay, so I have like five minutes, so I will be really quick here. So the government has helped us and uh, put some money into, into uh, geoenergy research recently. So we started the project in uh, August last year. We have around 3.8 million euros, it's quite a lot of money, but most of it will go to trilling costs, <laughs> as, as you know. And the main goal is actually to show that this uh, different geothermal uh, appli energy application can be economically viable here. So a lot of modeling, a lot of testing, a uh, lot of calculations are in order, just to show who are responsible for that. Nobody else has uh, shown the names, but we have a steering group of uh, really important persons. Most of them are here, or at least already has presented themselves here. Yeah, everybody's here actually, except Timo who was on the screen previously. So uh, a lot of bright people are steering us toward the bright future. A little bit what we are doing. So Alvar already said that we should see the seawater, we should uh, see the deep holes, uh, old mines, uh, we have no excess heat, is not on this work package, but the main goal is actually to drill the new holes a little bit deeper than before. Uh, the uh, right now, the uh, deepest ones are probably 200 meters deep and so on, so we are going uh, up to 500 to 600, we are not sure yet. <laughs> uh, we can uh, consider it still a shallow, but it's uh, almost the same. In a crystalline bedrock, it's, uh, it's going to be around 250 to 300 meters, so uh, all the rest is sedimentary cover. Uh, we have to finish it by the June 24, so we are really in a fast pace here, and uh, government looks really quick answers, so we are trying to get them. What we are actually doing, what are activities, so uh, we have done something already. So we have general petrography and geochemistry, we have thermal conductivity and density measurements, so geophysical data. Uh, what else? Okay, so we are modeling some groundwater flow and heat transfer. We are doing this potential abundant mine water study, the potential seawater usage study. So a mine water study and seawater study will be ready probably by the end of August this year. So we can present it for you. We have a lot of other actions actually as well. So, so a lot of, I put a lot of text here, but <laughs> so what else? So the main issue is actually we are trying, trying to raise public consciousness and uh, and promote the geoenergy that the people understand it, except for coal and gas and uh, wood pellets, there is something else as well, and we're trying to trying to 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 at, at least a couple of pilots to show that all this modeling is always. Uh, theoretical data will actually work in the practice. Uh, probably we could fail, I would say it right now, so we could fail. Not fail in the project meaning, but fail in the... Uh, it, it's, it, but it would not going to be feasible for us or for everybody because the drilling cost is still so high here. But the main issue right now is a drilling cost and uh, and as Alan said, you don't know how deep you have to go to, to become it uh, feasible. Okay, and some major goals as well to end. So ma the main goal, as I already said, is to demonstrate that geoenergy is technically and economically feasible here in Estonia and let's say geology. We are trying to build at least two pilot plants to demonstrate that it's working. 
not working in a best place geologically, but also in a not so pla good place geologically. And of course, the main goal is actually to initiate building a large, large scale geoenergy applications, um, especially in the district heating networks. And the most important tasks. So the main uh, most important task is show actually the proof of concept that it's really, really working in uh, already, let's say, with a technology that's actually currently existing already, not some future developments that we see on the paper all the time, and mostly still promote your energy to everybody. And that's about it. I, I, I know we probably have a lot of questions, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ivar. <laughs> Thank you. So, questions from the floor? Thanks, it was very nice to see this project you now taking and starting to fly. Uh, do you have the facilities already uh, selected, the location where you're going to put the pilot plants and, and how deep do you want to go? Uh, we, have, we have them selected, yes, but they are probably not final. They could change, but uh, it depends on the permitting. So the one place uh, Pekka really wanted to have is a Rabakivi area. So <laughs> in the Tallinn, Tallinn, let's say, Tiskra area, if you know Tallinn well, uh, the pilot will be where it's a really sp small uh, district heating network, so it doesn't cover, let's say, all the demand, but I, I think this is the best example that we can get. But also we will, uh, uh, another place would be almost in uh, central Estonia, where the conditions are not that good, again, because the sedimentary layer is uh, like 200 meters thicker. And probably the third place will be also in the Narva area, where the geological anomalies exist. So we try to cover, let's say, as much as we can. We, we have a big gaps in our knowledge, so we, yeah. We have those places, but I'm not telling you right now because maybe they are not final. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much. If there's any other questions uh, for Ivar, um, you can ask them from him at our coffee break, which is coming up right now.